Yeah, my name's James Jirachi. I live in Gilbert, Arizona. I've been in the semiconductor industry for about 20 years. Currently, I manage a global training center within a large equipment manufacturing company. My business is water conservation. The product, Geyser Stop. Geyser Stop is a two-way check valve that's installed beneath every sprinkler to stop the water when a head fails. Did you know a broken sprinkler head can waste 100 gallons of water in just 10 minutes? That means if a broken sprinkler head is left untreated for an hour of spray time, it can waste enough water to fill 6,400 12 ounce water bottles or even a jacuzzi. So Geyser Stop is the most cost effective, easy to install solution to the wasted water from broken sprinklers. I'm seeking $500,000 in growth capital for 10% ownership in my company. Geyser Stop has a full utility patent since 2007. Geyser Stop's development is solid. It's been proven. It's been tested at the Center for Irrigation Technology years ago. It's a matter of getting this thing penetrated into the market at a larger scale. Geyser Stop's revenue is currently stalled. It's had a real slow spell. Since the market economy crashed and as we're slowing, slowly starting to build and conservation is at its peak right now, there is no better time to push this thing. Geyser Stop is different because it's simple. There's no complicated wires, there's no complicated pieces. You simply install it and forget it. Let me show you how it works. Here we have a broken sprinkler that is not protected by Geyser Stop. Look at how much water is being wasted. If only the sprinkler would have been equipped with a Geyser Stop. The process is simple, let me show you. Just dig up the problem sprinkler, remove the damaged sprinkler and riser, install a short riser to the new sprinkler, Install the geyser stop to the riser and a nipple to the geyser stop. If height is an issue, install a swing assembly to the bottom of the geyser stop and simply thread the new assembled unit into the main line. Fill the hole back up with dirt and you're ready to go. Here we have a transparent geyser stop to show you exactly how our system works. During normal operation, the stainless steel ball floats in the middle of the valve, allowing water to pass freely around the ball. When the flow increases due to a broken head, the ball simply rises to the top, stopping the flow of water. Finally, when the cycle is complete, the ball drops to the bottom, which prevents water, dirt, and other debris from backstreaming into irrigation lines. Here is one last example of Geyser Stop in our controlled environment, proving just how effective Geyser Stop really is. The sprinkler to the right represents a head failure. You see excessive water loss, the ball snaps into place, pressure is returned to the line, and the other sprinklers continue running effectively. The biggest difference with Geyser Stop that makes it better than all the rest is its simplicity. There's no complicated wires, there's no mechanisms to replace, it's simply install it and leave it. I remember the moment that this product proved itself to me. It was very early on in its prototype stages and I tested it in my front yard with a couple of buddies and a couple of beers, and it actually worked. The thing worked so well, my neighbors came outside because I was screaming so loud. It was that exciting. Over the last seven years, I've lived this and I've put time in and you can't put a price on the amount of time that a inventor puts or an entrepreneur, if you will, puts into something that he believes in. If Geyser Stop doesn't make it to the market in the capacity that it needs to be, it'll be disappointing. It'll be disappointing because water will be lost. In the environmental impacts of losing the amount of water that we lose from broken sprinklers would be devastating. My whole life I've been driven. I've been driven to, to exceed and excel and do something different than the rest. It started at a very young age, carried me all the way through to teenage years. I was always very motivated. After I got out of high school, I, I had my own detailing business. I was always been motivated to try to make that extra money. I knew I couldn't work for myself, so I went to college. I got a degree. I started working in the big corporate industries. But meanwhile, stirring inside of me has always been this desire to not only do something great, but to make some money at it. Geyser Stop means more to me than just a product and a dollar sign. It's a passion. It's a passion to save water, share the knowledge, get people excited about it, get people to really realize that the little things we do now can save our future. It really is sort of ridiculous, if you will, that it's not used every day on every sprinkler. The ultimate goal of Geyser Stop is a mandate, is a spec item. It's something that needs to be installed 
on new installations as well as retrofitted systems. The cities have to push this. It is a need. People need this. Municipalities need this. Our future of water conservation needs this. Back in the day when we first started this whole journey, if you will, my dad was big into watching this show. And it always cracked me up because every time I'd see him, he goes, you need to be on Shark Tank. You need to be on Shark Tank. Well, it just hasn't happened. Since his passing in 2011, though, it drives me to believe that this could happen. And here we are today. Some of the challenges that Geyserstop has seen over the years is lack of consistent market penetration. Raising capital and spending that money strategically, you sometimes run out, you get another injection. If you don't have consistent market penetration, you see some rough hurdles. Water conservation is talked about quite a bit, but it's never serious until we're at the stage we are now. Friends and family have always been super supportive with this product. From my sister making t-shirts and signs to my kids helping me actually label and package some stuff. They're all very excited. They know what's behind the product is that water conservation. I can't tell you enough. It's all about saving water.